In the heart of West Africa, nestled within the vibrant lands of Nigriana, there existed the magnificent Wakanika Kingdom. The kingdom was once prosperous and harmonious, ruled by the wise and just Queen Zara. However, the kingdom fell into disarray when an envious sorcerer named Malachi cast a spell that banished Queen Zara from her throne. For years, the Wakanika kingdom suffered under the oppressive rule of Malachi. The lush fields turned barren and the laughter of its people was replaced with sorrow. Yet, a whisper of hope remained alive, a prophecy that foretold the return of Queen Zara, destined to reclaim her kingdom from the clutches of darkness. Queen Zara, determined to fulfill her destiny, embarked on a perilous journey. Disguised as a humble traveler, she crossed treacherous terrains and faced mystical creatures to gather the legendary elements of unity. These enchanted artifacts held the power to break Malachi's curse. Creating animated AI story videos like this, or even stories of your choice, has the capacity to help you generate passive income online through YouTube. So in today's video, I'll be taking you through the entire process of creating your own story videos with AI in minutes. So let's get started. The first step in this process is for us to generate our script and one better way to do it than to use ChatGPT. So there are other AI tools out there that could generate script, but I prefer to use this because you can use it entirely for free. AI can um, rack up in views pretty fast. So the more freer tools that we use, the better. So I'm going to just type and ask ChatGPT to write me a folktale about a queen and a, a quest to reclaim her kingdom. And she hails from West Africa and it's going to be intriguing and catchy, no more than 300 words. So when we hit enter, ChatGPT is going to go ahead to give us that whole story. And once that whole story is developed, we'll be asking ChatGPT further to break it down for us into different things and also to create adjectives and verbs from this story so we could give it to an illustrator, which we'll be using in the next couple of steps so as you can see that's written the whole story which is fictional so you could go ahead and read the story if you don't like the story you could always regenerate click on the regenerate button and then another story will be created so i'm fine with this so what we're going to do next is to ask chat gpt to break this into scenes because while we are doing this is that we need to generate images that are going to capture each of the scenes as this story is being told so I want to say, can you break the story down into scenes for each scene, describe the adjective and verb so I can explain it to an illustrator and hit enter. So ChatGPT is going to go ahead to break this into different scenes and give a description, which we'll be using later on to generate the images as you can see from here. Okay, so it's done breaking down the scenes and giving us different descriptions which we'll be using in a generative AI tool to generate these images. So going forward, I'll be using the story I've generated earlier on just to show us the next couple of steps. So the next step would be we would like to generate a voiceover for our story. So we'll be generating just a few minutes voiceover and the next tool we'll be using for that would be 11 Labs. So once you just come into 11 labs, so I've pasted in a story that I wanted to use. And then you could go to voice library because you're trying to, you're telling a West African story for this example. So obviously if you are creating a different story for kids or different stories from you no know, different part of the world, you need to choose the voice that suits that storyline. So I could go to library. And once you go to library here, you could filter down to choose the voices that you want. I found one which I had already selected. So let's just go back to speech synthesis. And this is, it says best African narrative accent voice. So it's a male voice. And I will just go ahead and put in your script here and click on generate. It's going to go ahead to generate that um, voice for you. So let me just click on generate. So the voice is done generating, so let's just play a little clip of it and see how it sounds. In the heart of West Africa, nestled within the vibrant lands of Nagrina, there existed the magnificent Wakanika Kingdom. Okay, so this sounds really nice. So what you need to do next is just to click on download and it downloads to your system or your computer. So the next step would be for us to take those things that were created in ChatGPT and generate those images. And we're doing that 
using me journey as a form of a disclaimer a lot of people have asked you know me journey is not free yes me journey is not free but you could use other free ai generative tools out there like could have access to leonardo ai or blue willow those are also good as well but i prefer me journey because of the richness and the type of images it generates for me okay so i'm just going to walk you through some of the prompts i've used here because i've gone ahead to generate all the images i needed for the different scenes so i've gone ahead to generate the map of west africa so it's a very simple process so what you need to do is to click on slash for those who are um, using me journey for the first time and click on imagine so in that imagine you could go back to chat gpt so let's just go back to chat gpt i'll show you as an example before i walk you through the images i generated and you could copy the description generated by chat gpt and you could make modifications depending on the images you're trying to generate so you can just copy that and come into here paste it and i normally use aspect ratio of basically ar3 by 2 because it's almost the size of for a youtube video so you could use that and once you put in that you hit enter and the image will be generated so you do that for all the images for different scenes so just to walk you through some of the ones i created so i created a map of africa so and this is what it gave me i love this because you would see what we're doing with this later and i created a couple of scenes so let me show you in the storyline where we had to deal with a oppressive ruler and this is what we have as you can see this image is very stunning so once you go ahead and generate all your images just open each of them click on open in browser so you once you click on open in browser it's going to open in browser then you will right click and save this image on your computer so you do this for all your images for all your scenes and once you're done saving all these images the next step would be to upscale them because like we have discussed on this channel you can't use ai images the way they are you have to upscale it to give you a better rich quality of these images so now that we have been able to create a different scenes and directed all our images so i've gone ahead to save all the images upskilled all of them the next thing would be i will show you how to animate some of these images like you saw at the beginning of the video so the next step that we'll be taking is i'll be using two ai tools for these animations and by the way these ai tools are free so you don't need to pay for it i think so far the only ai tool you need to pay for would be me journey so the first ai tool we'll be using will be layer picks so for layer picks i'll be using it for some scenes that i want some bit of movement and the second ai tool if i want some bit of change drastically in the images so what i would do is i'll just click on the plus button and would use the images that we have upscaled so let me just use one just to show you and click on open and allow it to load so immediately it loads it start giving it a bit of movement as you could see it's moving to queen zara in our story so what you could do is can you always come to the animation style if you don't like the perspective movement and change the different movements that you like and then if you want the movement to be more you could change it for example, if we move this forward, it moves a lot more, as you could see. But if you want it regular, you can move it back. Then for the edge dilation, I like to leave it at zero because I like to have it feel alive. So once you're done and you're satisfied with the movement or the animation, the next thing would be to click on share. And once you click on share, it's going to give you options to download, whether as a PDF or any other format. So we just wait for it. So we're going to download this as an MP4. So you just click on download and it's going to ask you to save on your computer. You go ahead and save it on your computer. So while this is saving, if there are other scenes that you want to animate this way, you could go ahead and repeat the process. 
for those images. The next AI tool I'll be taking us through would be the ones I wanted some form of movement and changes happening to the image itself. So the next AI tool I'll be using would be Genmore. I like Genmore specifically because it kind of gives you a control of how to animate some specific part of the picture. So if you don't want the whole image changing and you just want specific areas, it could do just that. So we'll use a, a, one of the images that we have upscaled. And also, like I said, Gemmo is also free. Every day it refuels and gives you some credit. So you could always, you know, generate this endlessly for free. So you could just click on the image and then we'll be uploading one of the images that we also upscaled. So let's upload. Okay, so it has uploaded and you can see how it gives you a bit of a description of what's going on in the image. So we want to animate specifically these lights and we want it to kind of bust out like on a flame as if the oppressive ruler is casting a spell. So what you need to do is just to click this plus button. And once you do that, you come to the base here and click on animate. And this is what I'm talking about. It's going to give you control and ask you which region of the image do you want to animate. So I'll just say the flames and it asks you to describe what you want. So I'll just say flame busting out. And in terms of the dynamism, if you just want it to um, change slowly, you just reduce it. But if you want it to change more drastically, you increase it a little bit. So let me just increase it a little bit. So like 25 and then we'll just click on enter and we wait for it to generate that animation for us. Okay, so it's done generating. As you could see how it transformed the candles to a whole flame and every other part of the image remained the same. That's one thing I love about Genmo. So if you want to animate any specific part of the image, this is the tool for you. So if you're satisfied with the image, what you just click, you click on the download button and it downloads as an MP4. Um, if you don't like the image, you just make a new iteration of that image. So the next step in this process would be after you have animated all the images that you want, the next thing would be to upscale the MP4 that you have downloaded. So you would ask, why do we need to upscale the MP4? You would notice that when we play these MP4s, they're not, they're not as clear as the images we upscale. So you will need to do some more video enhancement on it. So let me just play this one we just downloaded and you could see that it's not so clear. As you can see, when we play it, it's not so clear. It kind of greens out a little bit. So just for us to fix this and upscale it to a higher quality, we'll be using another free AI to do this. So you will come to um, capcut.com. Just sign up for a free account. It, this is free and they have different magic tools that you could use. So here you could see video upscaler that's going to upscale your image. So you just click on it and it's going to open up and we'll go ahead and upload our videos or the animations that we have created to upscale it. So we could click on upload and we go ahead and choose what we had created. So I'll just go to my downloads and choose this and click on open. So this is the current size and you could see it's going to increase the resolution by 2x. So, so what I also noticed is some people might want the videos up to like 4K, but for CapCut, that is a limitation. And there are other tools that could, you know, basically upscale up to 4K, but I find them quite expensive at this moment. But if you know any other free tools that could upscale to 4K, do let me know in the comment section. So I'll just click on upscale and it's going to go ahead to upscale this as you can see this looks way better than what we had before and you just click on export it's going to open up to this page and then you click on download and download the image to your computer so you could do this for all your clips and once this is done the next step would be for us to put all this together in the video editor the next step is to edit all these clips and voiceover that we have created and what better tool than to use um, CapCut? So I use CapCut because remember, we're still staying on the track of using free tools and CapCut is entirely free and it has a lot of features that you don't even have to pay for. So I've gone ahead to bring in all the clips that I want to use as well as the voice and some sound effects that we'll be using and some music that we'll be using to put all this together. So the first thing we're going to do is to pull in the voiceover. 
So we're just pulling the voiceover into the track here. Okay. And once we have the voiceover, what we'll be doing is as you are playing through the voiceover, you'll be putting in the different images that depict what the voice is saying. Okay. So, but first of all, what I would like to do is to create an introduction before this starts playing. So I'll just move this aside a little bit. And what you could do is you can always come to the top and click choose text. And for that text at the sidebar here, you could choose text templates. So we'll click here. So let's look for something that looks Asian, dramatic, that kind of effect. So I'll just click on this one. And this has a good effect that we want to use. So we'll just pull this to the timeline. So we'll just click on it and we're going to say we're here. We want to have Tales of Queen Zara. And here we want to have Wakanika Kingdom. Okay, so this looks perfect. So you could just increase it a little bit. And then we're going to add some effects later on to this. But I like how this is. But you can always choose something else that suits the storyline that you are telling. So we wanted this to show up a little bit before the voice comes in. So just place this just at the tip as the title is just ending. And this comes in. The next thing would be, so for each of these voices, I'll be just going ahead to place each of these clips. So I'll just do that very fast and then we'll come back and I'll explain. Okay, so I'm done putting in all the images. The next thing would be to put in the sound and some effects. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So for the music, you just pull down the music. I'm just going to reduce it a little bit because you don't want that overshadowing the voice. And then you're going to reduce the length of the music to match where the voice stops. So we'll just pull this. And then I had pulled this to in because i just want the sound to fade gradually and then i'll go ahead and put in some effects that i want on the different clips So I've put in all the effects that I wanted, just simple effects and some sound effects as well at the bottom here. So let me just scrub through the timeline so you could see some of these effects so like the water effect here. I have like a butterfly effect happening somewhere here. I have the lightning cracker effect and then the smog effect happening here. Okay, so the last thing that we'll be doing to put everything together so that this ties together would be to do an auto caption, which is simple. Just go to text, come here, you would see auto caption and then you click on create caption and it automatically generate the caption for you. And then you will go ahead to make tweaks to how you want the caption to look like. So let's just wait for it to finish up. So it's done generating. So let's just move the timeline. You could see this just basic. So you could just go ahead and increase the size, change the font. So you could just come here and choose a bold font. And then we'll choose something that is just going to pop a little bit. And then we're just going to animate this a little bit because we just wanted our to type out. So you use the in animation and we could just choose typewriter. Okay, and that is what it's going to do. So that has been applied to all the text. So you just play through it and see what doesn't look right. If something doesn't look right, you could just go ahead and you know, correct in terms of the words for the caption. And yes, the video is essentially done. So it depends on how creative you really want to get. So if you want to get really creative, you could go ahead and put in some effects and, you know, fiddle more around with it. But with just this simple effects, sound effects, and a little bit of transitions, everything 
ties so well together. As you can see, creating videos like this is easy and in no time, if you stay consistent, you start earning passive income. Do not forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section any other AI related content you want me to cover. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.